You've probably seen skydivers jumping out of planes, but how about skydiving trout? Instead of raining cats and dogs, it's raining rainbow trout. Why are these fish being dropped out of planes? And is it safe for the fish? There's nothing fishy going on here. Well, that's debatable. This is aerial pond restocking. But the main reason they do this is not what you might be thinking. Aerial pond restocking seems like a great way to repopulate a fish species in a remote area. But interestingly, most of the time it's done to restock a lake to encourage more people to fish there. This radical solution has been going on since the 1950s. Before that, some U.S. states, like Utah, would load the fish in milk cans and transport them to remote areas using horses. But flying the fish in is much more efficient and cost-effective. The planes can carry up to 35,000 fish in one flight, which means they can drop fish into multiple lakes in one trip. It's also way less stressful for the fish. With aerial stocking, they don't spend hours and hours sloshing about while being transported. And it's truly a sight to see. But at those speeds and heights, do you think this lowers their chance of survival? Not at all. Because water and fish are released together, and the fish are small, they don't suffer injuries when they fall. So their chances of surviving are excellent. Also, to increase survival rates, the pilots try to release the fish at about 15 meters above the water. But the pilots have to adapt to the terrain's hazards, like trees and rocks surrounding the lakes. So this may seem fine and dandy for the fish and the anglers, but some people are not happy with this restocking practice. Environmentalists, scientists, and indigenous communities have protested this method of restocking lakes. And perhaps they have good reasons. Often, the lakes are at higher elevations, which means they were fishless. And when people put a non-native fish into a lake, it can cause all sorts of problems. The native amphibian, plant, and invertebrate populations can be devastated by a new fish species. It's a sort of catch-22, unfortunately. Agencies who manage the lakes allow the practice as it brings in money to the angling and hunting economies. So next time you see cool videos of fish skydiving, remember there is another story bubbling beneath the surface. And if you like this video, we have a fascinating story about humans' relationship with horseshoe crabs. How are they helping us fight COVID-19? Hmm. So join us for more on Crazy Creatures.